this is this is embarrassing. You give out my secrets? Oh, okay. I don't know why this started. It's just a superstition. Before a show, I always use the bathroom and I don't wash my hands. I've just been doing, I like did it accidentally once when I was like 17 or something and I've been doing it for the last like 15 years. Uh, I wash my hands after the show, <laughs> but um, yeah, you don't, you don't want to borrow my guitar during, during a set. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's like, I'm scared that if I don't, I'm afraid that if I do wash my hands, you know, that like, it's gonna, this is the one, like something really bad's gonna happen. Um, yeah, yeah. So that's definitely a secret. I definitely have never said that out loud. Even though I'm an aerialist, I am still deathly afraid of heights. So I give myself a pep talk that everything's going to be fine and that if I die, this is just how I'll go and it'll be spectacular. We have a thing called rosin, which is dried tree sap. I used to and sometimes still, still do when I'm nervous, just cover myself in rosin. And if I don't have rosin available because I have failed myself in some way, uh, hairspray. Um, and the rosin's just my like, well, and I'll go down with a death grip. <laughs> I am still afraid of heights. I think about this all the time is not doing it at 100%. <laughs> <laughs> um, 100% just means like you're, you go in full, like, assuming so much. So I think you have to leave room for error and you have to leave room for failure. So I tell everyone I do everything at like 70% uh, because I know that there's still a gap for me to learn something and I need to either pivot or, or, or change my approach. You just have to leave room for, um, for, uh, for, for, for that change that's going to occur. Guess the secret confession is that I'm making this up as I go. I don't really know what I'm doing. I am pretty new to this, so I am seeing things outside of the box. Um, I sold out, I went to law school, I became a lawyer. Disappointment to my parents, I should have been a doctor. Um, and then I got back into the arts. And I guess uh, it's trial and error. I'm just revealing to you that I'm not that professional. I'm just guessing. <laughs> so probably every piece I've ever painted with the exception of murals on a wall has a little bit of my DNA in it because I, I lick my paintbrushes <laughs> before I dip them in paint. They're clean, they're, they're kind of clean, I don't know, but I do. I lick them just to get the point on the brush just right. Secrets out! <laughs> it's gross, right? 